Okay, I'm here with Chief McDonnell of the Long Beach Police Department. All right, so um, Chief, one of the things you mentioned in your talking about uh, violence prevention and the strategy here in this city is uh, you said too often um, uh, the police department and administration kind of rolls things out instead of uh, participating with the community. Um, could you elaborate on that a little bit, sure. what that means to you? Sure, yeah. We all, everybody's very busy, everybody's working hard, everybody's trying to do the right thing, and I think we get uh, too often tied up with the focus on where we're trying to go uh, rather than building a team and going there together. So I think the benefit of this violence prevention plan is that we're reaching out to the community, reaching out to the young people. I, I really see them as the key, the key ingredient to this whole thing uh, being successful, is to have young people on board, peer leaders in the community that are saying enough is enough with the violence, enough is enough with the gang activity and the things that drive the violence, and it's time to take back our city. It's time to build a city, to build uh, a future built on respect for each other built on respect for what, all the hard work that went into making the city the great city that it is, and then working together to try and take it to the next level. You can't do that if you perceive the city as not being safe. And there are parts, this is a safe city, but there are parts of this city we could improve. Uh, but we can only do that if we do it together. And bringing a group like this together, the faith community, the, the city, uh, the county resources, um, but the young people in the community, uh, again, is the key ingredient to all of this. I think we, we try and do things as uh, well as we can, but we do them in silos. To be able to build a web where everybody has a piece of this, but everybody has a network beyond those that are directly involved in the meetings and go back into the neighborhoods and then build a team and then start to see results. We need to celebrate milestones so that as we move down the road and we see fewer, fewer instances of violence, uh, fewer uh, instances of uh, vandalism, graffiti, and the types of things that make a neighborhood look bad, that lead to disrepair and, uh, and dysfunction, build on those things so that when the people are walking down the street, if little things like paper on the ground, they take the ownership and the, and the uh, desire to make the community better that they pick it up. And they don't, when, they don't just walk by somebody who's making a mess somewhere uh, or doing something inappropriate, they say something. And they, and they do it in a way that's, uh, that's you know, positive. You know, hey, let's make our community better. And I think it's having ownership over our neighborhoods that will make this the city that it could be.